a lot <laughs> with your style of course so you know I'm really good at like playing ball with my own bags it could be good that that should change my career hello people welcome back to my channel salut les amis bienvenue et bon retour sur la chaîne hola bienvenue à mi canal konnichiwa wadashino chaneru ni yokoso i hope you're doing fine today i hope you had an amazing weekend it's officially fall can you believe it I'm so excited. I just love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. It's all about being cold, but not too much. So, I focus myself on one item, the main item, when it comes to colder season, which is a sweater. So, if you want to see how I style it, three types of way, including office work or much more relaxed, just keep on watching, and I'm gonna be all about my tips and tricks on how you can style it yourself right after my lookbook, so stay tuned for that and I'll see you next! <laughs> some directions to get to you to get to you ain't gonna waste my time i know that we got connection i think about you you're on my mind on my mind on my mind yeah i'm going out of my mind out of my mind out of my mind yeah for you my love Tell me what to do, what to do I'm on my knees, yeah, I am begging you, begging you I'll break the rules if it will give me two, give me two, yeah I hope you enjoyed it and here I'm gonna try to get into details on how I actually got to style these three outfits and I really wanted to focus on just one sweater and a really simple one just because I think it's just much more easier for people to be able to go from the basic and then go a little bit more in terms of style or just make it a little bit more trendier or make it a little bit more like office work there's a tons of stuff that you can do when it comes to like basic sweaters it was this one it has a really nice sleeves 
recently bought it from Zara and it was $59.90 Canadian dollars I'm gonna get right here and show you why I did what I did <laughs> let's get started the first outfit was with the this dress really liked it and it's in that type of like tweed material from Zara as well it's a really nice way to make it really office work yet being trendy and cute at the same time I love to be cute I love to stay cute and I love to play with everything that's gonna be classic yet with a little bit of twist here a little bit so you're around like 29 30 ish you don't have to wear something really corporate unless you work in a really big corporate environment if you don't have the freedom to do a little bit more what you want so definitely what i did here with this dress and because i wanted to stay away from everything too dark because it's still fall you know it's neutral colors you don't want to go too dark yet because it's not winter right i paired it with a new pair of boots that I bought from Zara as well it was amazing and it was this one so I was looking for a pair of like neutral type of shade when it comes to boots because I just realized that I had so many pairs of like black boots what I love about it is just the cut it's the style it gives you that 80 80 vibe because of the shape of it it's different from everything that we've seen so far to me it was a great way to incorporate that so don't need or don't need to add much more prints because the whole thing here is the print same the beige color but yet add some color i add this one <laughs> it's a great way to add a pop of color the shape of the bag really brings a classy chic look all together love loved a lot there's a red here and it's not the same type of red yet you have the gold details that actually tie them together so it's just amazing my earrings what i had was i recently bought from asas lion ones <laughs> there's a bit of red in it i had a lot of things going on but at the same time it was a balance because in my head when i came to that outfit i was just thinking vintage 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 so this boot at zara i was like i definitely definitely need them from the boots i actually got the inspiration oh i pulled everything together you don't want to have fun with your outfits you really want to play around with a lot of pieces like one for this sweater because the sweater is really neutral second outfit that actually i really 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 enjoyed was that. oh oops <laughs> was this outfit <laughs> really nice hat from Zara as well so to pair it with I had a pants this pants again from Zara I've been struggling with animal prints for so much and so long yes I guess I can do something with it I found these pants being really cute all being office wear and if you want to be chic it's really big print so not everybody is going to be comfortable wearing it i totally understand but i feel like if you want to make a statement and if you're not afraid of making statements you can still wear it my hat was really my i guess my touch in loving hats more and more and more and if you've seen my stories on instagram i think most of my outfits when i go to work recently were with hats so you want to follow me on instagram because every day i post my outfit of the day and i give inspiration with that so i paired that with my shoes i wanted to match my hat with my shoes and i think it was a great way to do that the combination was amazing you have a creamy brown shade going on with prints balance here because nothing being like or looking off different it's definitely different the bag that i wanted to go with was this bag from france <laughs> My mom bought it for me a couple of years ago for my birthday and back in the day I was much younger so I thought the bag was really kind of odd looking but yet it was a gift for my mom so I kept it for all these years and I was like, like I'm not getting rid of it so happy that the trend the 80s vibe and everything related to that actually came back I wanted to stay in the brown shape <laughs> with your style of course so you know playing ball with my own bags be good at that change my carriers, you know but yeah the shape is different it's definitely not small this hat was just superb because it reminds you of that classic french vibe yet you have the rest of the outfit being so much trendier and be like oh okay and the red shoes was just the the goal it just don't do it don't hesitate to do that because it's gonna be great this is my third and last outfit was this banana bag love 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 this banana bag it's shape really nice color amazing for fall 
small but not as small actually when I realized it there is so much in it the little silver details which I thought was just cute a bit more edgier and you know it's my favorite so I had to include that type of outfit in my lookbook I just had to this wear I love it and I think it's still something that I can wear but when rock and edgy you know that's definitely my cup of tea I, I just live for it I breathe for it and you got it you just got the meaning of it I actually love the animal prints in that one because it's just much more subtle I paired it with my skirt it's a little bit longer and you saw that on the lookbook part of this video more leatherish which I love a lot and you know me red dark red type of vibe if you want to go darker you can but what I did here because I had a creamier sweater I paired it with my boots that I showed you these boots were really nice when it comes to just combining the rest of the outfit creamier sweater being the center of everything don't go with darker boots don't go with black boots We're still having a darker type of shade being the red this was a balance that I was really looking for you know I accent for it so Yep. I definitely hope you liked this video. I think it was just a great way to just introduce sweater for fall because it's officially here. We can't get rid of it anymore and I'm loving it even more and more and more. It's getting a lot colder here in Canada in Montreal and probably on your side as well. So nice way to inspire you guys and of course if you want to see more of me you can subscribe to my channel. I give fashion advice twice a week, Tuesday and Thursday, 3 p.m. Easter time every single week. Always available on my social media so don't do give free consultation when it comes to everybody looking for some nice fashion advice. My email is gonna be down below, my social media are gonna be down below, everything is gonna be down below for that so feel free to reach out to me. I have my own website which is gonna be down below as well where I offer services when it comes to styling and every type of package when it comes to it so definitely check it out mostly online because everything is just easier online order something online is much more easier and you get a lot of options and from pretty much everywhere so from there and hopefully you're gonna be friends and have a really nice time you know as usual because it's me you know okay that cool. free consultation are always always available right down below so don't forget to check it out and of course I'm gonna see you guys for my next video and until then I'm gonna wish you a really beautiful great beginning of the week and I'm gonna see you on my next video and as I say all the time smile because it's free bye Salut les amis, j'espère que vous avez adoré, c'était une autre vidéo où je vous montre un petit peu comment on peut associer un sweater classique à plusieurs types de pièces beaucoup plus tendance. Alors là, je suis vraiment allée avec trois tenues différentes mais vraiment différentes pour vous montrer que je, on peut autant composer des looks beaucoup plus sophistiqués pour aller au travail ou on peut aller du côté beaucoup plus euh, edgy ou bien encore une fois être entre le côté super mignon assez travaillé donc c'était celle là je trouve que c'était vraiment une manière de vous montrer que c'est mignon et avoir pas mal de pièces beaucoup plus chic beaucoup plus tendance de look petite fille et jeune adulte c'est un petit peu ma génération puis deux je n'aime pas avoir l'air trop classique et je n'aime pas avoir ce côté trop faible si ça a du sens bien sûr le deuxième look était beaucoup plus euh, sophistiqué et très différent si mon biret avec mon pantalon mais animalier montrer que vous pouvez faire des choses malades avec quelque chose encore une fois super classique je pense qu'il donne un look assez contemporain sophistiqué mais avec une petite touche et puis la troisième tenue était ma préférée parce que c'est moi tout simplement petite euh, banane sur le côté puis ma petite jupe c'est super mignon c'est super edgy encore une fois à toute personne qui aime garder ce petit côté rock qui va entrer dans la tendance de j'ai adoré la tenue. Si vous avez d'autres questions, n'hésitez pas à me joindre. Tous les détails vont être en bas. Je fais des consultations gratuites, donc n'hésitez pas à me contacter. Mon email il va être en bas, en anglais et en français pour l'instant. Puis aussi, il va être en bas pour avoir tous les services et tout ce que j'offre comme service qui se fait en ligne surtout parce que je trouve que c'est beaucoup plus simple, surtout quand on n'a pas nécessairement le temps d'aller dans les magasins. Et en ligne, pour moi, c'est ce qui marche le mieux. Toutes les informations vont être en bas, mon site il va être en bas, mes réseaux sociaux vont être en bas. D'ici là, je vais vous faire de gros bisous, vous souhaitez un super beau début de week-end. Puis comme je le dis toujours, souriez parce que bah, c'est gratuit. Bye.